Hi, here's Bernardo again. I don't know if you already noticed, but one of the hot topics in summits and AI conferences this year is the ethics of artificial intelligence. In this video, we are going to show you a list of the top five mostly discussed ethical concerns about the business applications of artificial intelligence. We'll be sharing a dashboard outlining these five issues in this link, or you can just click it in the description. Here they are. Interpretability, data citizenship, fairness, governance, and the future of work. More specifically, we focused on the implications of artificial narrow intelligence or when a machine can perform one single task much better than a skilled human on that topic. We are doing this simply because narrow intelligence is the most mature area in terms of business applications. I left out issues related with artificial general and strong intelligence this time because they are not applied to business yet. If you are interested in these topics too, you might like to check some of the suggestions we prepared for you at the end of this video. If you have a additional thoughts or you think that we forgot something important in our research, please add your comments below. Let's start with something very practical. Interpretability. The European Data Privacy Regulation, the GDPR, states that companies must notify consumers how their data will be used, including the existence of automated decision-making and meaningful information about the logic involved. This issue has been named as the right for an explanation. For instance, if a bank's machine learning model denies credit to a consumer and does so without any human intervention, then the bank owes you an explanation about how they achieved that specific decision. The problem is that some of the best performing machine learning algorithms nowadays, they work like black boxes. For example, the XGBoost algorithm does not give us the direction of association between the features and the outcome. In this case, whether or not to approve a loan or a credit card to a regular customer. If the bank is using such type of algorithm, the institution will have limitations of about how to explain this to the customer, why they arrived in that decision. Was it because the income is still too low or was it because some other behavioral characteristics of the customer caused the denial? What should the customer try to improve in order to achieve the desired credit score? These algorithms, the black boxes, they simply do not provide this type of information. Neural networks also suffer from the lack of interpretability. The power of convolutional neural networks used in image recognition and computer vision, for example, lies in their hidden layers containing the activation functions. At every layer, the network discovers a new representation of the input. Making sense of these activations is hard because we usually work with them as abstract vectors that can be hardly summarized. Interpretability or explainable AI is still an evolving area that business people will have to follow closely. Should accuracy or other similar performance metrics be sacrificed in order to gain interpretability? For example, using simpler and easily interpretable models like like regressions instead of deep neural nets. Have a look at this project from Distill that uses data visualization to summarize the convolutional filters of an animal classifier. Mind-blowing! The algorithm learns some kind of abstract images that summarize the features presented in real-world images. This discussion about algorithm transparency brings us to the second topic of this video, data citizenship. Since most of the artificial intelligence models are trained using historical user data, how much should should users get informed about how algorithms actually work? Modern society passed through similar situations. When vehicles like cars and motorcycles started to be sold to the general public, it was discussed whether they should understand how the engine actually works. When more complex financial assets like derivatives and mutual funds started to be offered to the public, regulators used to ask whether people should first prove that they had enough financial literacy before entering such contracts. Now we have recommender systems systems everywhere. Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Spotify, Netflix. Do you know that they are probably using some kind of collaborative filtering fed by your data to suggest you more content and prevent you from churning? In this sense, companies that want to be the early adopters of model transparency should start thinking about how to make algorithms more understandable to the citizens who use them and have their lives impacted by them. As a national policy, we have the government of Finland that offers a free online course on AI to its citizens called the elements of AI. It aims to answer the following questions. Do you wonder what AI really means? Are you thinking about the kind of impact AI might have on your job or life? And do you want to understand how AI will develop and affect us in the coming years? It tries to demystify the AI technology and give practical examples to the citizens where AI is used in their lives. Okay, so if these algorithms are built mirroring humans' decisions, we should expect that they will also propagate human
human decision-making biases. This brings us to our third topic, AI fairness. How can we teach machines to have impartial and just treatment without favoritism or discrimination? The fact is, many AI systems are actually trained using biased data. Google's pair, People and AI Research, has recently launched its What If Diagnostic Tool, which can, for example, take two groups and set the model optimization automatically for equal opportunity. In this case, the model was trained without providing any specific examples from a subgroup of the population in order to show how this tool can help to uncover these biases in models. What If presents five buttons, each of which sorts the data according to a different type of fairness based on mathematical measures such as equal opportunity, demographic parity, or equal accuracy. Take a look at their content, it's very helpful for businesses trying to define what fairness is in data analysis. Lack of interpretability and privacy, biases, how do we solve these issues? And how do we decide which ones not to care about? The answer is governance. The problem with governance is that it's usually built after some applications already exist. Take the example of the internet in the 90s. How did we decide to follow specific protocols for emails, websites, cybersecurity, encryption? All this was only possible after we started to use the internet to communicate, get informed and shop. Where the internet democratized information, AI democratizes personalization of services and makes predictable tasks much more efficient. While governments and regulators alone might lack the knowledge to mandate this technology, they should ensure that we preserve the rights and powers of consumers. The last issue we have in this list, we already covered in one of our videos earlier this year. It is the impact of AI on the future of jobs. As highlighted in this new book called Prediction Machines, the difference between the industrial revolution and the current wave of automation is that now we we have access to cheaper and more efficient AI that can substitute not only the repetitive but also the predictable tasks. This month, the Boston Consulting Group and the MIT published a report showing that AI is creating both fear and hope among workers. In fact, society is debating the possibility of smart machines outperforming humans, making legions of workers redundant. We shouldn't expect that the effects of AI on the workforce will be uniform. Managers should address the concern of their work through reskilling, upskilling, and communication. To sum up, the five issues of AI ethics are interpretability, data citizenship, fairness, governance, and the future of work. All of them converge to one solution, education, especially regarding digital skills at the corporate, worker, and the citizen level. Finally, for those also interested in the ethical issues of artificial, general, and strong intelligence, you should check these lectures from the MIT organized by Lex Friedman and the book Superintelligence from Nick Bostrom. Also, check the content from Dr. Joanna Bryson. She's a lead thinker about AI ethics, robots, and their role in the future society. So we hope you learned from this video. And remember, you can download a dashboard with the five issues we covered just now in this link. Leave additional comments below and see you next time.